Trading bots are one of the most interesting and exciting fields that I've found myself delving into over the last couple of years, and they've been causing a lot of financial waves in the markets lately. If you find yourself interested in trading bots, this is definitely the channel for you because this is all that we talk about. And on this channel, I don't do pump and dumps, but we do pump and dump the like and subscribe button. So be sure to hit those real quick. It really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate all of the support. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three important concepts. There's gonna be a mini strategy development course for any strategy that I've ever wanted to automate, I've been able to do so. And the first thing in doing that is building consistency. Every experienced trader knows that consistency and sustainability is the most important concept to master. Beginner's luck only goes so far and you really have to have a good mindset about trading if you want it to be sustainable. After familiarizing yourself with my videos, if you're looking for some extra help, you can sign up for my Patreon page where I offer coaching and signals. And in the future, I'm gonna be adding a few of my own private bots as Patreon benefits. Go to tradetactics.io and check it out. You can also grab a free trial, the best indicator that I've found called Wolfpack Pro. It has never missed a major move in the crypto market. It also works in stocks and Forex. I'll leave a link to Trade Tactics down in the description if you're interested. The second thing that we're gonna talk about is rule building. I've seen a lot of strategies come and go, and I really like to keep it simple. If a strategy is too complicated, chances are there might be some underlying issues in the strategy that might prevent it from working in real time. So to do all this, we're going to have to talk about the difference between backtesting and forward testing. I'm going to touch on a little bit of the statistics, but you can always check out my other videos. I have a lot of good content on this channel. The last thing we're going to talk about is risk management. This is what gives me security and peace of mind when I'm in a trade. So if I'm letting a bot run overnight, I know that I have some stop losses in place or I have a good enough strategy that's going to hold up to different challenges that the market may face. And so why automate? Of course, experienced traders have dedicated rules for consistency. Now there are traders who trade solely on intuition alone. And now if I'm just winging it, that might just be a hit or miss. I might just fluke a win. But in the long run, I suspect that that strategy is not gonna hold up over the test of time. So if I had a rule set of five rules that I have to make sure that are checked off before I enter every single trade, then why can't I automate those rules into a strategy and then have the bot perform that for me overnight while I'm away from the keyboard so I don't have to constantly fixate myself on the charts. Trading comes with risk and with that risk comes emotion. So for me at least, bots take the emotion out of it and it replaces it with just brutal hard statistics. If I can rely on those statistics being true in the future, then I know that I can trust my bot to pull through any kind of hard or difficult market. And for me, the automated compounding interest, that factor in strategies also is fairly appealing because I don't have to think about constantly increasing my order size or what my order size amounts are. Those are automatically calculated for me. So if you're new here, I do all of my strategy building and my charts on TradingView. It's really simple to use. Once you're on the main page, you just have to head over to the chart plus section and you can draw on all your trend lines, support and resistance, of course. And you can also automate your strategies using the pine editor in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And so if you have any big ideas for strategies, you can of course build them into this and try them out to see how well they work. In this video, I'm gonna be using the double EMA strategy that I have released in my Discord server. So if you wanna sample the strategy that I have on the screen right now, these are the statistics. And we're gonna show you some configurations on this strategy. The wins are larger than the losses and it's about 46% profitable. That means that the win rate is almost 50%, but the losses are mitigated by the profits. So for this strategy, this is the double EMA strategy. The exponential moving average is an approximation of the average over the last several candles over a given period. And these exponential moving averages are represented by a line on the screen. So if the price is above this exponential moving average, we can assume that we're in an uptrend. If we're below, then we can assume we're in a downtrend. And these exponential moving averages aren't normal exponential moving averages either. They're actually each a double exponential moving average. So they're the average of two exponential moving averages combined into one. And, and that allows me to be a little bit more aggressive and there's a little bit more smoothing on the screen. So if I hover my mouse on the top left corner and I can open up the source code here by clicking this little squiggly bracket button right here. This is the full source code for this strategy and I've placed it in my Discord server. So if you check the links down in the description, you'll be able to join the Trade Tactics Discord server. And once you're there, make sure that you head over to the working script section and then you'll be able to find a forum post that I made right here. It's the double exponential moving average post. You can come check it out and I'll link the full code right here inside this forum post. To find it, all you gotta do is head over to this forum post and then search for the pinned messages I'm pinning it right now so you can find it really easily. And then click the download button on this little text file. It'll give you all of the lines. If you just try to expand it using this button here, it has 16 lines left, so you won't be able to get all of the code. You have to make sure that you copy and paste the entire thing into a blank Pine Editor page. That's gonna be right over here. 
On TradingView, simply click open, create a new indicator or strategy, and then delete everything that's in there and paste it all in. And then you'll be able to sit, save and add to chart. One more thing, make sure that you're using regular candles. Do not use Heiken SG candles. If you want to see what happens if I add Heiken SG candles to this, it's going to give me some significantly different results. So these Heiken SG candles give me 21 million percent profit. That looks really well, but the problem is that it's miscalculating because it's repainting. And Heiken SG candles are really great to use in real time, but for strategies and backtesting, these results are very unrealistic. So make sure that you're using the regular candles if you want it to calculate properly. And if you're on BTC USDT on the four hour chart, you might see something close to this, but if you don't see these numbers, don't worry. It's because I have the premium trading view plan. They give me more data. If you're on a free trading view plan, you're going to see some different results. But the important thing is to measure how much percent profitable is the strategy? How much is the drawdown? And you can do that by heading into the performance summary and you can check all of the numbers here. So as you can see, the average winning trade is around 5%. The average losing trade is around 3.28%. And the data for BTC USDT goes back to around 2017. But if you want to go back further, you'd simply click the top left corner, the BTC USDT, and you would type in BTC USD if you want to go back a little bit further. So with more compounding interest, you're going to see some widely variable results here. The net profit going way further back is 86,000% profitable. The drawdown has come up quite a little bit. And of course, we'd want to reduce that. If you want to check the drawdown and you want to make some improvements on that, there's a couple ways to reduce that. Now, one is with rule building. So the rules for this strategy are on line 100 and 101. Those are the long rules and the short rules. If either of these is true, then it's going to enter either a long or a short. And the strategy exit conditions are these last ones right here. So it'll close the strategy if this condition is true. Now, if you want to have better drawdown, you can either improve the entry or exit rules, or you can improve the stop loss. And of course, you could see the total list of trades here that the bot would have taken in hindsight. Or you could head over to the overview tab and you can check this little green graph here. You can see when it's performing really, really well. I'll click this little valley right here at the bottom of that valley. I'm going to pull up the price chart here. This is the exact moment that the strategy started performing really well. We had a lot of equity coming in and we were only longing this. We we're in a clear uptrend. It was picking these longs and it was taking a lot of profit. As soon as we hit that top, we tumbled down and then we switched to shorts and we were shorting only. So that was an example of a trending market where this bot performed really, really well. Of course, this was a massive uptrend where the price of BTC almost doubled and the equity and compounding interest reflected that, of course. Now, if we wanted to see a particularly bad area of this where we could probably improve the rules, we would click one of the peaks here, like this one right here. So this is going to time travel as a back on our charts to show us exactly where the issues were. This is one of the areas on the strategy where if I zoom into the chart, you could see we were long and we we took our profit right here at the start of this big red candle and then we tumbled down. So this is where the bot was trying to place some more shorts, but it wasn't performing too well. So as you can see, when the market is really, really trending, the bot does really well. And when it goes sideways or gets really, really challenging in this back and forth, the bot will try to catch breakouts. And then if it fails, it will just close and try to reduce its losses, or it can pivot and then try the other direction if it breaks out hard enough. Kind of like what we did here, where there's this blue arrow that indicates a long, this red arrow right here, we were trying to short on this candle and we broke up hard enough to switch to long. And then we started longing and we won these trades. And so the total closed trades is really important. It gives you a larger sample size. If you only have 20 or 30 closed trades, that's not a big enough sample size to have any kind of statistical reliability. So with 2,300 closed trades, I have a fairly good idea of how this strategy is actually going to perform, assuming that nothing here is repainting or that it's not curve fitted. And all curve fitting means that it's specified for historic data, but not future data because it's too specific. And so I want my strategy to perform well in real time. So it has to be flexible and respond well to real time data. So I I want to explain the rule set that I have configured right here. I have two rules for long, two rules for short. And so to make this quick and easy, if the price is above the double EMA, that is represented by this little bracket here and our short double EMA, this is the green one here represented on the graph. If that is increasing on the graph, meaning if it's pointed up, if those two conditions are met, then the strategy is going to enter along. Or, and I have the or condition here, there's two separate rules that are completely functioning independently of each other. 
if the green double EMA is on top of this yellow double EMA, and that green double EMA is increasing as well, then it's going to enter along. And that's right here. You can see this represented on the graph. And the take profit that I have configured is at 5.3%. The stop loss is at 3.5% on this graph. So because the take profit is greater than the stop loss level, it's 5.3% take profit. That's about this level here where we took profit at the end of this candle. The stop loss is just around 3.5%. So because of that, and our win rate is almost 50%, then if we're hitting our stop loss every time we lose and our take profit every time that we win, then technically this strategy should be profitable. That is the way that I'm leveraging risk to reward in this strategy. Now, of course, I could toggle this stop loss and you'll see the different results here. The max drawdown comes down significantly and the max profit goes up to 2.4 million. And of course, that amount of compounding interest is pretty insane. But you can notice that the percent profitability actually goes down to 40 and so I want to find that nice middle ground where I want to have a stop loss in place. I really want to calculate my risk to reward to know exactly what's going to happen in real time. I like to be more calculated, so I like having that stop loss in place for my peace of mind. And so, of course, I could build out a whole host of other rules for the strategy. But for now, this prototype seems pretty good. So if I wanted to automate it, I would head over to Wake Hunter. I've done videos on this. You could head over to my previous videos. I'm going to put one up on the screen right now if you want to click into it. So that's going to tell you exactly how I brought this strategy to life and it's trading on a real account for me right now. And so if you want to experiment around with the double EMA strategy, then just head over to my Discord and you could grab it. And this strategy can be configured for any chart or any time frame or any coin, any stock, any equity. It works for Forex as well. You just have to configure these lines properly. I would just have to configure these lines properly. And in order to do that, you head over to the settings cog wheel in the top left corner and you would just start modifying the factor, the ATR length. These are the settings that you would want to modify. You'd want to place an appropriate stop loss or take profit at the very end. So if I start modifying this factor, you can see that the results in the bottom left corner of the screen here went from 2.2 million percent profit down to 1.8 million. So if I keep going, you're going to see it's going to drop a little bit more. So I found that little sweet spot around 2.2 on this chart. And if I switch time frames, you're going to watch that the profit decreases dramatically. I'm tuned to that specific time frame, that specific chart. The closer I get to that time frame, it gradually increases all the way up until that time frame. So this is the four hour chart that is tuned to specifically. In order to configure this, you could start at 100 for each of these. Of course, you can only lose 100% of your trade. So you start lowering this from here. So we're going to go to 50 and see how this changes. And we're going to start dialing it in. You're going to notice those numbers start changing as we get closer and closer, lower down to a reasonable stop loss amount. And you're going to notice that that number here is going to change dramatically, depending on exactly what time frame and chart you're on. Now, once that stop loss is configured correctly, where I'm at a point where I'm happy with, I can start moving my take profit level. Now, you'll notice that the win rate of the strategy right now, as it is configured, is around 42.2%. Now, if I move my take profit down to 2%, you're going to notice that this percent profitability jumps. Now, the strategy wins 74.07% .07 of the time, but the total net profit is also far lower. So I'm going to have to find a spot in the middle where I'm happy with, where the win rate is high enough, but the stop loss is also at a low enough level. And the lower your stop loss goes, of course, you're going to be getting stopped out of more and more trades. So that percent profitability will drop. So you want to find a really sweet spot. And so the sweet spot that I found that I really like a sweet balance of is right around here. Of course, that's totally subjective. I could really change it to anything. But of course, this is what I have configured so far. And so to summarize, in today's video, I covered consistency and sustainability. We went through some basic rule building to show how to make it really simple, logical and straightforward. And I showed how I manage my own risk. That's all for today's video. Subscribe and check out the Trade Tactics Discord if you haven't already. See ya.